Odyssey Airs, Mike Martin's here with the Mike Martin's channel. Thanks for joining, being part of the channel, subscribing, and liking. So I got a few emails from people, messages, links. Mike, it looks like we might be going into negative interest rates. You should be talking about this. We've been talking about this forever. So uh, let's go back to a little archive here. Bank of England looking at negative interest rates. This is one year, four months ago. Negative interest rates, Australia, Canada, UK, U USA, New Zealand. This is two years, eight months ago. So why am I showing you this for? I, I got lots more. Here, hold, let me, let me show you what I'm talking about here. I got lots more. Uh, a bank lowers rates to support ailing housing market. Australia's economic perfect storm disaster. Let's lower rates. This is two years, nine months ago. So there's a lot of this that we've discussed over the years. Uh, let the negative rates begin. You could barely see that there. And can banks handle negative interest rates? Bank now paying, paying people to take out a mortgage. Now, why am I bringing this up again? Or why are we talking about this again? Let's do a quick refresher. Negative interest rates are dangerous because what happens is people get punished for saving their money and people get rewarded for borrowing. They're, they're, they are rewarding borrowers for taking out money. And negative interest rates are detrimental because it causes this effect where people start to borrow more money because they feel, well, now I could afford this $2 million house that realistically in 2010, that house was 190 grand, but now it's 2 million because it's supposed to be at 2 million and assets keep going up. Now, this is, now we did a poll on our channel in 2018, we did a poll. Which country is gonna go into negative interest rates first? And the country that voted the most in the Commonwealth was Australia was first, New Zealand was second, England was was third, even though England, Bank of England, over here was already announcing negative interest rates. So that is very important because there's parts of the world right now where negative interest rates is a thing. And I think in Germany, if you have X amount of money in your account, you are charged a negative rate to hold your money. So basically, it depletes savings. So let's say you leave $10,000 in there. See, back in 1984, you put $10,000 uh, in a bank account at, say, 8 9%. In three, four years, your money doubles, triples, quadruples. Before you know it, if they, don't, if they leave interest rates at 7 8%, you'd have a fortune, uh, literally a fortune. <clears throat> but unfortunately, and then I remember back in the very early 2000, uh, ING, save your money as the ing direct where they were paying 4.5 sometimes five percent that was very important because it urged people to save your money get your money working for you that was it was a big thing five at five percent i think it's about a seven seven year four month waiting period where your money doubles at five percent i think it's seven years four months is the exact formula fair enough so so now them going to negative interest rates, it's just going to deter people from having a rainy day fund savings, and it's going to prop up the housing market. It's going to bring up the price of housing more. And again, it goes back to here, bank lowers rate to support ailing housing market. So what happened was the English speaking countries were competing with wealthy investors from China to launder the money through English speaking countries. Australia was is on the hook. New Zealand, the UK, all of the UK, Canada, and the blue states in America. The blue states in America, are it's kind of a different story where they were launder through corporation and funnel money through other ways to not through casinos like they did in Australia and Canada. They would do it mostly through a shell corporation, lending out through a shell corporation, in turn uh, picking up uh, through a realty company and leaving a pile of homes empty all over California. But this started in the early 90s uh, from the Chinese investing in, in California. This wasn't like this wasn't like like in 2010 in Vancouver, 2010 in Australia, 2010 in, 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 in New Zealand. This was like going on for a long time. Uh, a big communist, oops, a big communist uh, takeover. And so to say, right, let me just get the light back on here for you guys.
So, yeah, I'm just outside waiting for my son. He's out at hockey. 